Welcome back guys, this is a new video of blockchain and today we're gonna talk about uh, how to create your own blockchain technology. I'm here with Alexander Panait and he gonna talk about how to create an open source project without any investment and I'm gonna talk about how to create your own ICO. Um, in order to do an ICO you need to start from an idea and uh, you, after that uh, you try to do a smart contract in order to create that idea um, in order to finalized to create manage a crowdfunding and in this crowdfunding it's an equity based one so pretty much you're gonna make a, a, a token on your uh, on your platform and you are gonna sell those tokens to people who are interested into using those tokens for the application of the platform you are developing or uh, in order to buy those tokens with the hope that they're gonna rise in value after the platform will be released the problem with ICOs is that it is not is very regulated uh, because you are doing an equity crowdfunding. So um, you, you, you need to have a company, a legal company somewhere in, in, a, in, in the world and uh, you need to do QIC uh, to know your customers because there are some countries that have different kind of policies and you need to respect all of those. This is the biggest problem with ICOs. This is also the reason why I was not interested in starting my own ICO and I started a, a cryptocurrency project, an open source project um, to develop a technology and to release that technology. The advantage of doing an ICO is that actually uh, you can raise a lot of funds in order to push your idea and to make your idea happen uh, and to have customers for your idea from the day one. And uh, Alexandro, tell me about how to start an open source project. Yeah, actually to start an open source project it's easier than making an, uh, uh, an ICO but in the same time could be harder because it's very hard to develop something big without uh, funding. For example, in an ICO first you raise the money and then you start to develop your project. But in an open source project first you have to develop your, uh, your project, to develop your technology, to build your community around your technology which is very important for your project and after this the funds will start coming in your project. For example, for, for making an, up, uh, an open source project, uh, you have to develop your own technology. You, can, you have uh, more ways to, to do this. You can fork another project uh, like forking Ethereum or blockchain and starting from the uh, accounts which are already there. Or you can fork uh, one of those projects without including any uh, account from uh, one of them. Or you can start developing your project from the scratch. Uh, as we did on web dollar which we think is the, the best way because you can see some uh, issues which other blockchains have and you can solve uh, those very easy and in the same time it's easier for you to start understanding uh, the, how the blockchain works uh, to start improving uh, things on the existing concepts and uh, on uh, the legal side it's very easy for uh, an open source project because you don't need to be regulated by a state, by some laws. Uh, you just start uh, coding the project and then building the community and after this uh, spreading the word. Yeah, the, the difference is that on an open source project you are not selling equity in your project, you are developing the technology and release it to the public. So for this one, for this reason, Bitcoin is not a company, WebDollar is not a company because we developed the technology and people started mining the, 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 the coin and after that they started to do trade with a free open, open market and international markets and while the ICOs it is pretty much an equity crowdfunding. You have an idea to build something and after that you are just generating tokens, selling those tokens to people. Some of people may be interested to use those tokens after a few months in order to, to use your platform to use your application so this is a utility token but some of the people will be interested only to um, you know to buy those tokens to sell them after you release the platform and so on so this is very important to see the difference between open source project and an ICO uh, and uh, the, but the most fundamental thing is that you have to have innovation it is most important because if you fork Bitcoin and it doesn't have any kind of innovation, you will not have a great chance to succeed. You really need to build something that has real value and uh, bring that to the world. Actually, there are uh, a lot of projects. That, uh, actually, there are a lot of people which are making uh, mistakes, confusing uh, an ICO with a uh, blockchain. For example, in uh, December 2017, happened to to a lot of people starting to invest into blockchain. Uh, uh, 
considering they are investing in blockchain technology, but actually they invested in few tokens made on blockchain technology. And uh, that happened uh, to, to uh, block the whole market. And now the market is uh, it's growing again, starting to become healthier. Thank you very much for your time and if you have any kind of questions about how to start your own blockchain, let us know, leave a comment over there and uh, we'll be happy to, to, to see your project and to even try to help you. See you. Have a great day.